Well, we're getting to that time in the afternoon, aren't we? <laughs> we're looking forward to the last panel. Um, I think we've heard a, lo a lot of challenges today. Um, I think perhaps this panel is an opportunity to listen to, um, to what some of the opportunities for uh, the media going forward are. Um, I'm not an academic. I'm not a media expert. I'm not a journalist. Um, I guess who I represent today is, for those of you that are media experts, etc. Um, I'm your audience, and so are the 300-odd uh, member organisations of the Ethnic Communities Council as well. We're your audience. So um, what perspective do I give? Yeah. The multicultural media is important. Um, I've, I've heard the arguments about uh, separating, uh, uh, not separating, not having a separate multicultural media uh, to a mainstream media. I kind of agree. Eventually we do need to have that transformation. It has to happen. Society changes. Media is going to change along with it. Um, but I think there's still a considerable amount of, um, of need in, in our communities for a very healthy multicultural media. Um, I think it's very important, obviously, to Cald communities, um, both to migrants and to the children of migrants, and I think we've said that a couple of times. Um, you know, let's face it, it's the only source where we get news from the countries of origin. Um, you know, we get informed about local affairs, politics and government policy uh, in a language and in a way that we understand. Um, we get entertained, we get to celebrate and share our different uh, cultural traditions, uh, we get educated, and um, as I think has been said a couple of times, um, it tends to reinforce a democratic and socially inclusive society. Um, yep, the audience is changing pretty rapidly. Um, a lot of the organisations that are part of the Ethnic Communities Council have been there for the last 36 years. Um, there's a lot of new and emerging communities that are coming out now that we're reaching out to, and they're a very different audience for you as a multicultural media, I guess. Um, a lot of them are more tech savvy, um, more aware of what's going on around them, and use a, a variety of different media channels to get the information that they need. Um, the older communities, and we can't forget them because they still represent a significant part of of the community, both in New South Wales and Australia, um, use more traditional channels. And it would be a great shame if those traditional channels were to disappear too quickly. Um, what can I say? Um, multicultural media, look, just go for it. Adapt. We need you. Um, the next three speakers, I hope, are going to give us some perspective in what's, uh, what's in the media future um, and new ways of, of connecting with both, uh, both the old and the new uh, communities. Um, the first speaker, and I'll, I'll, I'll control the order if that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, it's, it's a shame that Helen left actually a minute ago because uh, my parents both came with the Patrice as well. So <laughs> it's just one of those. <laughs> it's a great ship, <laughs> what can I say? Um, I'd like to introduce the first speaker, who's uh, Claire O'Rourke. Uh, she's Account Director, Digital and Communications Strategy for Essential Media Communication. She's previously been a union organiser, and that's a pretty tough job, so I've got a, a lot of admiration for you doing something like that. Um, has been a, prev a journalist, obviously, with Sydney Morning Herald previously, um, but she's actually involved in a really, really great and important project and campaign. Um, she's overseeing digital strategy for the Every Australian Counts uh, campaign as part of the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Um, if you haven't been on the uh, Every Australian Counts website, I encourage you to do so. Um, it's a terrific project and a terrific cause. So, Claire, please.